This is a gravity well, and this is 5,000 ball bearings moments before being dumped into a highly engineered ball distribution system to then be dropped in maximum volume onto the gravity well. And if you're wondering why I spent three weeks designing, engineering, and iterating on this machine, it's because my goals are simple. I want to bring you the most satisfying thing you have seen today. And I'm going to do that by testing a very simple hypothesis. If one ball on a gravity well is satisfying, which, which it is, we can all agree, then a thousand balls on a gravity well will be very satisfying, right? I did try to just confirm this theory with ChatGPT, but the results were inconclusive, so I guess we gotta go and just build the thing ourselves. Let's do it. I started this project in exactly the wrong way by breaking all the rules of 3D printing and then trying to make this thing print as fast as possible. That meant reducing the wall loops, reducing the layers, and making the infill really, really sparse. This was all an attempt to make it print fast, but in the half commitment, this is kind of what the print ended up looking like. I mean, it's not a fail, but it's not not a fail. Due to the lack of infill, the top layer of the gravity well is really rough. And as you can see, the ball, I don't know, it's not supposed to roll backwards on this thing. And like a heathen, I thought I was gonna hand sand this entire thing. <laughs> Let's be real. That's what power tools are for. Now that the gravity well is rolling, I realized that I don't have a good way of distributing balls onto the gravity well. I decided to go with this bag of balls and tube method and yeah, it's definitely not the way to go. So here's what I'm thinking and I took a little bit of inspiration from a gumball machine. It's got this disc that's connected through a bunch of gears to a motor and as the disc spins, balls will fall into the holes in the disc and will drop out through the hole in the bottom of the hopper. So let's go get the parts off the printer and see if it works. For a single ball, the distributor works really well. But when you put multiple balls in, it works a lot less well. Balls sort of pile up on the edges of the rotating disc, and sometimes they distribute more than one at a time. This highly engineered solution will ensure that only one ball comes out at a time. And then this piece right here will solve the ball piling up on the edge problem. And with both those problems solved, it appears we have a very functional ball hopper. But I would like for it to go a little bit faster. So I'm gonna change the gear ratio coming off the motor from this to this. And here's the old speed, not bad. But here's the new speed, which is absolutely perfect. And now testing this on the gravity well, it's pretty good, it's pretty satisfying, but there is a huge problem here, and that is this. I didn't wanna to have to do this, but I'm gonna print a whole new gravity well. And this time I'm gonna spend some time studying gravitational physics. So I get the geometry and the radius and the angle of the gravity well exactly right. Who am I kidding? I just designed it so it feels good. And now we're gonna print it. So let's do that. A quick 20, like eight hour print later and an even quicker sanding job. And you can see this is the old gravity well and this is the new gravity well. And the new gravity well has a much faster roll due to its steeper angle and then it hits the center radius a little bit faster as well before dropping into a bigger hole. So hopefully it won't fall. Just as a quick side note, if you're worried about the waste of everything that I'm making, I'm a bit of a hoarder and I don't throw anything out. I keep everything in this bin right here because one day when I have a little bit more space than this basement, I'm going to get a machine that I can grind all of this stuff up and turn it back into filament so I can make more satisfying machines. Now that we have a functional gravity well and a very functional ball distribution system, we need a way to get the balls from the bottom of the gravity well back to the top of the hopper. I spent a little bit too much time here researching agricultural engineering and grain elevators, but look at this animation. That is so satisfying. And based on that research, this is what I came up with. Once the balls drop out of the gravity well, they're gonna come through this tube and end up in this collection hopper right here. A scoop connected to a conveyor belt is gonna come around and pick up a bunch of balls and it's gonna raise them all the way up to the top of the conveyor belt, at which point it's gonna drop them into this ramp right here, which is then gonna direct the balls back into the hopper. For the conveyor belt, I'm gonna be using the pinnacle of engineering technology. Duct tape. Using the duct tape wallet technique, I'm gonna wrap some tape around these rollers, sticky side to sticky side. I'm gonna give it some tension using these tensioning blocks and these screws, and then I'm gonna glue a scoop to it. And honestly, I don't have a ton of confidence in this, but it is still the proof of concept phase, so we're just gonna keep going. I made a proof of concept hopper out of cardboard just because I'm only half committing to this idea right now. Installed it, threw some ball bearings into it, and holy crap, <laughs> it actually kind of works. 
I decided to screw the scoop into the belt for more stability and then I attached my drill. And now you can actually get a better idea for how this thing is gonna function. But I'm really not that confident in the duct tape belt. So I went hunting around my shop for a more suitable material and I found this fake basketball leather from a previous project that I think might make the perfect belt. I only poked myself twice while stitching this thing together and don't ask about the stitching pattern. I was kind of just making it up as I went. But it doesn't matter how you get there. It's just if you get there. And after replacing the duct tape belt with the basketball vinyl belt, well, we're definitely getting close. Now we just need a bunch of scoops, a finalized hopper, the exit ramp, the exit tube, and some laser cut parts to hold everything up. And it's time to finish assembling this thing. Let's go. All right, the machine build is done and it went mostly smooth, but there's one small problem. And that is that the top ramp had to be lower than I was expecting, which means that the hopper is lower than I was expecting, which means that it doesn't have as much gravitational potential energy. And so the balls are just kind of plopping out. But fortunately, there's a pretty simple fix. I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a laser cutter to cut off the tops of the supports that are holding up the gravity weld, moving everything down about 25 millimeters. I'm gonna make a new exit tube that's flat rather than slanted and that should cover the distance. And hopefully that 25 millimeters is enough to give the balls a little bit more pizzazz on the gravity well. So let's do it. Okay, done. Let's see if it made any difference. Oh yeah. That's perfect. So originally I designed this thing for these half inch ball bearings, but I just had a thought. I've got this bag of a thousand quarter inch ball bearings and I feel like having more of these rolling around on the dish will be even more satisfying. So let's just test out both. Really quick, before we check out the final machine, I wanna let you know about the JBV Creative membership that is available on thangs.com. It will get you access to two of my fully 3D printed mechanical creations every single month. And that includes this fully 3D printed gravity well machine, which is a super fun build and a very satisfying result. So if you're interested in learning more about the membership, check out the link in the description below. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video. Let's go see this machine in action. Well, that was pretty cool, but I think it's time that we switch to the small balls. And I don't know if this is enough. Hold on a sec. Yeah. This has inspired me to make a project using thousands and thousands of these little tiny balls. So if you have any ideas for what you might wanna see, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.